Cleveland, Ohio, the opening round here of the tournament. Here in the Midwest bracket is the Texas Tech Red Raiders take on the Virginia Cavaliers of the ACC. Chris Beard in his fourth season for Texas Tech and Tony Bennett in his 11th year heading up the Cavaliers. Texas Tech will start with it first. They'll win the tip to 10 minute halves as Shannon has it at the top of the key. Shannon, little backdoor cut and the hoop and the harm as they get that one on Clark. Davi De Moriti will head to the stripe, starting the ball game off with a old fashioned three point play and he does complete it. Winner of this one will face the Michigan State Spartans. Coming up here in day two from Cleveland, Ohio. See some of the matches have already come to a close here in especially the Midwest. Just one game remaining. It's that one as Virginia finally gets on the board. Diakite starts it off for the Cavaliers. Three to two. 45 seconds gone by. Scott Cole with you here on Virtual Madness Radio. As Ramsey will try a three and he'll knock it down. Ramsey's shooting nearly 43% on the season from downtown, and it's a 6-2 lead. After a minute gone by, here in the Midwest bracket, Cavaliers getting into the paint. Tough shot won't go, and they'll get the foul on Hoyfield. That'll be his first team first. So Kihei Clark goes down in the paint among the trees and draws the foul, and he'll head to the line. E.A. Clark, the sophomore from Woodland Hills, California, will hit the first. Shooting 87.6% from the stripe so far this season. And he knocks them both out. Now in a tremendous second year with Virginia. Averaging nearly 11 points a game. Six to four. Long three-pointer. Texas Tech cashing in again. So they had the old fashioned three point play and then back to back three pointers. I guess you call it the new fashioned way. 90 seconds gone by in the ball game. Nine to four in favor of Texas Tech. Virginia up top. You can see a lot of slow offensive play here from the Cavaliers. They got to force this one up off the mark. Keep it alive. And then Huff gets his shot blocked. Thomas Wolda Tenside with it now. The man from Italy, and he gets his shot rejected. He'll stay with the Cavaliers, but only .4 on the shot clock. Virginia was 23 and seven on the season, 15 and five in the ACC. That was good enough for a fourth place finish. Before their tournament got canceled, they would have faced Notre Dame, and that shot won't count. It'll be a shot clock violation. Turnover for Virginia. For Texas Tech, they were 18 and 13 on the season, 9 and 9 in the Big 12. They were going to take on Texas there at the Big 12 tournament. 9 to 4. A shot from the outside, and it's good. As Chris Clark knocks down. The 16-footer from the elbow, 11 to four. Texas Tech with a hot start here in two minutes and change. Virginia working on the right side. They're gonna turn it over, picked up by Shannon. Texas Tech out on the break. They got numbers and two hands for safety. Braxton Key turned it over. And so you'll see Kihei Clark bring it up. Virginia wants a timeout. Tony Bennett. Wants to talk it over the Cavaliers. It's 13 to four. Two minutes and 40 seconds gone by. 7.20 to play here in the first half. As I said before, the winner will take on Michigan State on Saturday here in the Midwest. All this action coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio. It's the final game in the Midwest here in the first round. Key knocks down the three. A rare three from Braxton Key, only shooting 19% on the season, but he brings it back to a two possession game. Red Raiders, top of the key, good. Ramsey now with five points. 
15 to 7, 640 to go now in the first. See the games at the top that have all been completed. Pretty much been chalk here in the Midwest. Florida just got a win earlier today. You might have saw that here on the Virtual Madness channel. And that 8-9 matchup, they'll face Kansas as Kihei Clark gets in the paint and knocks it down. Back to a 16-point lead for the Red Raiders. They'll bring it into the forecourt. Setting up the motion offense. Ramsey comes off a screen. This time, Kate knocked down the jumper as Huff gets the rebound. Cavaliers now in transition. Virginia not a team that likes to play from behind. Getting off to Clark. He's over on the right side. They try to lob it up to Diakite, but he's not open. And Ramsey on the other end will easily lay it in for the Red Raiders as Texas Tech now taking a 17-9 lead. Coming up on nearly halfway through the first half. Huff with it. He'll swing it around to Clark. Slow offense here for Virginia. Key will take it down to the box, and he'll draw the foul from Clark. His first team second. Hot start here for the Red Raiders with an eight-point lead, 5.22 to go. That's Key in and out on the first. We mentioned before, Virginia having a nice turnaround to their season. Closing out at strong and winning a berth here in the NCAAs. ACC only getting four schools in as NC State was on the bubble, but because the tournament was canceled, they didn't find themselves in. Back to a seven-point game as Key hey, excuse me, as Key goes one of two from the free throw line. 17 to 10. Ramsey with it. Ramsey with seven points, gets it off to Holyfield. Holyfield right at the free throw line. He's going to be fouled by Huff. That's his first team second. So Virginia trying to play physical here in the opening half. They go to Clark in the corner here for the Red Raiders. Ten to shoot. And kicks it out to Ramsey for three. It's too strong. Huff keeps it alive. And finally pulled down by the Cavaliers. Diakite will bring it up. Off to the left side to Key. Key on the wing now. And he'll have it knocked away by Shannon. Up ahead to Clark. Does not have numbers. And he'll lob it up, and it's an alley-oop to Holyfield. 19-10, Red Raiders. Boy, they didn't have numbers, but they attacked anyway, and it worked out for Texas Tech. Right now showing their guns up nine. Key, straightaway three, no good. And brought down by the Red Raiders, so bring it up. Moret Moretti off to Ramsey for three. Ramsey now with 10 points. That equals Virginia score 22 to 10. Texas Tech now up 12. 352 to go. King turns it over. Red Raiders in transition, all the way down the paint, and they got it to go. Moretti able to lay it in, and it's now 24 to 10, and Virginia wants another timeout. Diakite, he'll trigger it in. Out on the right side for Virginia, and they got it to go. Gafaro checks right into the game after timeout, and he gets a quick bucket. They've cut the deficit to half, 24 to 12. Red Raiders have doubled them up already here in the first half. Clark driving to the bucket here for the Red Raiders. He gets his shot blocked by Diakite. Virginia in transition. Clark, and we got a foul up top. It's gonna be on Edwards. So Virginia will retain possession. Also checking into the ball game is Casey Morsel. Morsell now has it on the left wing. Morsell with it. Straight away three, no good, off the mark. Red Raiders want to run. Good job by Virginia getting back. 
tough shot. Knocked away. It was Nadolny's first shot of the game, and it was deflected. It's a reverse alley-oop jam. Cody Statman, a 6-7. Sophomore goes up and throws it down for Virginia. Maybe that'll give them some life with 2.20 to go in the half. They try an alley-oop on the other end for the Raiders. No good. Back the other way. Morsell takes a 20-footer and buries it. On the right wing, Morsell knocks it down. 24 to 16, a little bit of fight here in Virginia. Two minutes go here in the first half. Clark has it up top. Chain of defense from the Virginia fans that have made the trip, and we got a whistle. It's going to be on Diakite, and they're going to mark this down as a flagrant foul. And the referees letting us know it's going to be a flagrant one on Mama D Diakite. So Clark will step to the charity stripe all alone. And the first one's up and it's good. Clark to take the second after the flagrant foul. Shooting 71% from the line and he knocks them both out. For the senior from Virginia Beach, Virginia. 26-16 now. Red Raiders by 10. 154 to go. Trying to get it in bounds, and they do to Shannon. Working on the right side here. Nadolny gets it off to Edwards. Edwards driving the paint, and we're going to get a foul. It's going to be a reach. Get that on Kafaro. And we'll have a substitution as McCoy will come into the ballgame. And Kihei Clark will check out for the Cavaliers. 143 to go here in the half. Red Raiders had a hot start and they're still hanging on. Clark over in the left corner. Gets on the left wing now. That's Nadolny with it. Down to Clark, turn around, jumper, and it's good. As the shot clock expires, they knock it down on the baseline. 28 to 16, 120 to go now in the first half. Red Raiders up by 12. Scott Cole with you here on Virtual Madness Radio. You can check out all the updates from the tournament at Scott Cole Show out on Twitter. Appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as we got a foul. The subscribe button out on YouTube as Holyfield will get called for the foul. And so that'll send Morsell to the line. 102 to go here in the first. Casey Morsell, the freshman from Fort Washington, Maryland, will knock down the first. Shooting 86% here in his first season with the Cavaliers. As the Texas Tech's going to make a change. They got a substitution. As Russell Shewa will check into the game for the first time. Morsell knocks them both down. Back to a 10-point game. One minute to go here in the first half. Red Raiders up by double digits. Edwards working on the right wing. Drives into the paint. Pulls up from eight feet, and it won't go. Cavaliers coming back the other way, and won't fall. Cafaro comes down with the offensive rebound. He's working in the paint. He gets his shot blocked by Clark. Red Raiders cannot hold it for the final shot. Shewa. Shewa. Comes down the paint. Right hook, and it's good. That was right over the outstretched arm to Cafaro. Coming on 10 seconds to go in the half. Cavaliers trailing by 12. They'll back it out. Statman with it. Running down, tries to get a screen. It's just going to have to force it up, and it's well short. And the first half will come to a close. 30 to 18, Texas Tech with the lead after the hot start. And you can see they're shooting 71% in the first half, including three for four from downtown. Virginia hasn't shot bad. It's just been all Texas Tech, 12 points in the paint. And those turnovers, five of them in total, that led to 10 points. 
for Texas Tech. Start of the second half. 12 point lead for Texas Tech. Virginia brings it in the forecourt. This is Morsell, gets it off to Statman. Different starting fire in the second half for Virginia trying to find a spark. Statman takes it to the rack, use the glass, but it won't fall off the rim. Nadolny trying to drive baseline here for Texas Tech. Working on the left side. And in and out. That was Andre Sevrasov who had just checked into the game. Sevrasov could not knock down a jump shot from the free throw line extended. So now here's the Cavaliers. Trying to work into this lead. They finally get a stop. Kafaro working in the paint. And he draws the contact and he'll head to the line. Joel and Tomway will get called for his first personal. Team first. Oh, take a break. Take a break. 30 to 18. Francisco Cafaro, the freshman, seven feet tall from Santa Fe, Argentina, will knock down the first. Shooting 67% on the season. Didn't get a lot of playing time, but they're looking for any sort of scoring for Tony Bennett's squad right now. As they find themselves down 11 with 19 12 to go in the ballgame. Winner plays Michigan State. This is the final game here in the Midwest bracket. And he knocks it down. It's been all chalk so far. We've had no upsets. But Texas Tech has got upsets on their mind with a double digit lead, but still plenty of time left. Edwards gives it to Shea Tomway with it here at the top of the key. And Tomway will give it off to Edwards. Long three-pointer for the right wing, and it's good. Red Raiders continue to be hot from downtown as Kyler Edwards, the sophomore from Arlington, knocks it down. Statman try to answer. He can't. Rebound by Shawab. They give it right back to him. Edwards now working on the left wing. Working into the paint. Gets to the free throw line. In and out. Cavaliers coming back the other way, trailing by 13, 8, 20 to go. Try to go to McKay, there was nothing there, and then Statman, pretty post move, brings us back to 11. 8.09 to go. Edwards will bring it up slow for the Red Raiders. Couple substitutes waiting at the scoring table to come in. Nadolny, working at the top of the key, getting into the paint. And, and Tomway will get it to go. It's a sophomore from the Congo who played his first year at UNLV before transferring to the Red Raiders. He's now getting involved in the scoring. 35-22. They skip it over to McCoy. McCoy can't knock it down. So the freshman off the mark, and here comes Texas Tech back the other way. 35-22. Edwards. Tom the Keen to Day. They swing it around to... And Tom Wade, working on the right wing, goes over to the corner, wide open, look, in and out. Sevrovsov had a good look at it in the corner, but couldn't knock it down. Virginia quickly back the other way, and the freshman McCoy lays it in. Justin McCoy played in 11 games this season, just averaging a point per game. And when the starters aren't getting done, Tony Bennett has gone deep into the bench. Not a tremendous amount of games coming your way tomorrow in the south in the west bracket. And that's a long three, good. Edwards. Boy, Texas Tech has only missed two three-pointers so far here tonight, 38-24. Statman, he can't hit the open jumper. Kafaro with another chance at it, and he gets it to go. Cody Statman has really come in and played well for Virginia. They still trail by 12. Edwards on the right wing. Driving into the paint, couple pretty moves and the layup won't fall. McCoy will come down with it for the Cavaliers. Statman into the forecourt, gets it out to Morcell. Morcell working it straight away out at the logo. 10 seconds to shoot. Virginia still hadn't got in their offense. Statman now here on the left. Diakite, check back into the game and he can't get it to fall. Coming up on 5.40 to go 
Still a 12-point lead for the Red Raiders. Edwards, right open three off the mark. Cavaliers back the other way. 5.25 to go now. Defaro, the Argentinian, will just back it out. Over to McCoy. McCoy trying to grab baseline on the left side. Get some contact. And he'll head to the line. They'll get that foul on M. Tomway. So Virginia trailing by 12. will head back to the charity stripe with 5.15 to go in the ballgame. Haven't had an upset so far. Here in the Midwest bracket, but we got one of Bruin with five minutes and change. Freshman McCoy from Cary, North Carolina, will step to the charity stripe for two. First one's up, and it is good. Justin McCoy shooting 67% as we got a plethora of substitutions coming in for both teams. Huff back in the lineup. Key back in the lineup. And Kihei Clark also checking back in, along with Thomas Woldatinside. A man from Italy will come back in. McCoy, uh, excuse me, McCoy will miss the second. Red Raiders can't get it to go. Quickly back the other way, McCuller. Three in the corner, and it's good. Andre Savrasov will knock it down. 41-27 now. Largest lead the ball game for Texas Tech. Clark off balance and it's good. Little jumper on the left wing. From about 12 feet out. Brings us back to a 12-point game. 4.32 to go. Ramsey with it. Boys, he had a great game. Nice step. Can't get it to go. We got a put back jam by Holyfield. T.J. Holyfield, the senior transfer from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Played some ball at Stephen F. Austin. And that shot from the baseline is good. Cracks the key, finally gets one to fall. Lead back to 12 for Texas Tech, 43-31, under four minutes to play now. Ramsey, one-man show. Off-balance jumper on the right side, and it's good. Came through the lane and knocked it down. Lead back up to 14 now for Texas Tech. Cavaliers get it off to Key. Key long three. Won't fall. Ramsey in transition now. All the way to the rack and what a block. And they're going to call a foul. Wilton Tinside looked like he had a pretty good beat on it, but they're going to call him with the person. It's going to be a shooting foul. And that's going to allow Ramsey to go to the line for two. Freshman from Arlington, Texas, played his high school ball at Duncanville. Has had a tremendous ball game, to say the least. Has hit some big threes there in that first half. 45-31. Ramsey looking to add to it. It'll be two from the line. First is up, and it's good. Couple substitutions for Texas Tech. Clark will come back into the ball game. Chris Clark has played really well tonight. Not to be confused with Kihei Clark on the other side, who has struggled. Also, Shannon Jr. will check in the game as well for the Red Raiders. So the starting five in for Texas Tech. Three and a half to go, 47-31, as Ramsey goes two of two from the stripe. McCoy now gets it off to Clark. Clark. Just beyond the arc, straight away in the middle of the court. Backing up to the logo now. Five seconds to shoot. Gets a screen from Huff. Pulls up from 18 and can't knock it down. Clark with the rebound. Texas Tech three minutes away from pulling the first upset here in the tournament. And we're going to have a foul. They get that on Thomas Wool. Done Tensai. Wolden Tensai. And from Italy from Bologna. T.J. Holyfield now. And he knocked away for a moment, picked up. And Moretti, he'll get it to go with the left hand. Everything going right for the Red Raiders, 49-31. Key now. I mentioned before, this is a Virginia team that is 
Plays very well with the lead. They have not played well here today. They haven't had the lead. It's been all Red Raiders. Clark from long range. Kia Clark can't get it to go. And Rams. He thought about running, held up for a moment. Hesitation, dribble, and he'll go in with a jam. Timeout, Virginia. And it is really quiet here in Cleveland, Ohio. So 51-31. So it's pretty much here in the books. Texas Tech, they hold on. They'll face Michigan State on Saturday. Huff now at the free throw line, takes a step back, trying to drive in on Holyfield. They'll go to the right corner, shot clock running down. They got to force it up and it's good. Justin McCoy, the freshman, hits a three from the corner. You know, of course, Virginia, the defending champs, got knocked out two years ago in that 116 debacle. And it looks like they're going to face the first round exit here again after winning the championship a year ago. Lead is still 20 for the Raiders. And we're going to have a blocking foul. Nope, they're going to have a legal screen on Huff. And he was the one that hit the deck. 116 to go. We got some great matchups coming your way tomorrow. And the South and the West. Red Raiders with a corner. There's Clark on the right side. His three pointers in and out. Huff with another rebound. McCoy trying to run. Gets all the way down to the paint. And he'll back it out. Texas Tech has done a good job getting back defensively here tonight. Long three from Huff, and it rattles home. 53-36. Davide Moretti will bring it up. And a pretty pass down to Ramsey, and he'll just lay it in. Lead is 19. Texas Tech played their way into the tournament with some good play down the stretch. And Key will take a three off the mark. Read down by Ramsey. They can't hold it for the final shot here. Moretti will take a quick one. In and out, and then a putback jam. Shannon Jr. climbs the ladder, and that's the exclamation point. 57-36 in favor of Texas Tech. And a foul on the other end. That's going to be on Shannon. That'll be his first team third. A 10.1 to go. Texas Tech is going to be moving on in the second round. It'll be Red Raiders and Spartans on the weekend. Braxton Key, the man from Charlotte, North Carolina. Brings it back to an 18-point ball game, and they can just dribble it out here. Texas Tech is going to win as Moretti will put up another one. And that's how the game will come to a close. 57-39, Texas Tech victorious here with the Virginia Cavaliers. Who for the second time in three years see themselves taking an early round exit. Of course, they won the championship in between there. So a big win. Good game from Clark, but really Ramsey was the story. And that hot start. Big lead in the first half, just carry it on as Ramsey, spectacular here tonight for the Red Raiders. Here's your final stats. Texas Tech ends up shooting 61%, going six for nine from downtown. While Virginia really struggled, just two of 11. Had some good play off the bench, but it wasn't enough as Texas Tech, a winner, 57-39. So let's check out the Midwest bracket. It's completely filled up. Here's the matchups on Saturday. Kansas will take on Florida, Auburn and Wisconsin. West Virginia will take on Creighton, and Texas Tech will take on Michigan State here in the Midwest. Got a lot more matchups coming up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you down the road.